Hello Quirky, uh, my name is Chef, and I am pitching you my idea for what is called the Cool Cup. Now, as you can see from my drawings, the Cool Cup is the first ever self-cooling cup. Uh, yes, there are self-heating cups, however, I want to take that in a totally different direction. And actually made the first ever self-cooling cup. Now, there are a few problems when you run to uh, cooling and refrigerating and uh, air conditioning as well. It's that normally these units are very boxy. I'm pretty sure we all think of the big wires, big coils we see on the back of our refrigerator. No matter how big or how small, if, we're, if we have a portable fridge, um, that can be very boxy and very uh, cumbersome as well. So the idea that I ran to, and the problem I ran to, was actually how do I get something cold without using all these big wires, uh, coils, and actually using a lot of energy and uh, having a big motor as well. So then the idea came to me when I thought of one of my favorite childhood activities, which was an air hockey table. Air hockey tables, there are nice little holes in them, so the air can run freely through them, and it actually comes out pretty nicely, uh, pretty evenly as well. Uh, Using plain oxygen, air, the air we breathe, uh, wouldn't be enough because sadly, even air moving quickly cannot actually cool down an entire beverage by itself. So what I thought of was a using a different cooling gas. So for example, uh, helium, carbon dioxide are all very cold gases in natural states, and if we could somehow create a vacuum where these gases, where these gases can stay in their natural temperature, then to be pretty easy to actually get the air moving through there, thus cooling down the liquid inside the cup. Uh, visually, you can see this is a Turvis Tumbler coffee mug, uh, but you can kind of see how we have the same idea with uh, core and also outer layer as well. So you can see right here in the clear, we have this uh, outer layer where this is where the consumer, this is where they will have their hand on the product, enjoying their cold beverage. While in this, uh, space in between the big gap between the clear layer and the black layer will actually be where the gases are moving around freely. Uh, once the gases uh, move across the I guess space in between the two layers, this will cool down the inner layer. The inner layer, the, aka the black layer as you can see here, is a very conductible, very uh, temperamental, I guess easily changeable uh, metal in some sort. So I was thinking aluminum, uh, when you drink a pop can, uh, the, cold, the can's very cold uh, when you stick it in the fridge. So I was thinking of that, some way of really having a metal that's really easy to cool. So once again, outlet outer layer, not cold for the consumer to hold. Space in between, the cool gas running across, uh, flowing freely, actually cooling down the inner core, which is the aluminum, aka the very uh, easily changeable uh, metal is on the inside that actually will conduct the coolness all the way through here thus changing the liquid inside. So I'm very excited for this idea. Uh, it came to me one night when I was trying to fall asleep and then for some reason uh, I just could not fall asleep after that. So I'm so glad I saw upon Quirky and I am ready to make this idea into a reality. So hopefully talk to you soon. Bye.